I've realized for about a year that the number of bonuses in Sims 4 has grown quite a lot with the toddler editions, clubs, parenthood, and seasons. So how great can a Sim be when you aim for every bonus and try to exploit the gameplay systems to the fullest, stacking everything on one Sim? The process begins in childhood. While this first one isn't necessary, it is a permanent bonus that helps speed up the process of getting rewards. Having a baby with Father Winter results in the offspring getting the Father Winter's Baby trait, boosting satisfaction games from regular whims by 50%. It doesn't affect aspirations, but does give you much more incentive to pursue whims and will let you get good bonuses earlier than normal. So for completion's sake, I begin here again, having a baby with Father Winter. This is my file from the original Father Winter baby video, and she is not prepared financially for this at all, so I have a challenge to accept. You can move Father Winter in and get 500k simoleons, but I feel it makes this too easy. I juggle writing and learning about parenting during the pregnancy. The baby stage offers nothing in terms of maximizing this. It just offers you a little more time before a more challenging toddler joins the household. When the baby ages up to toddler, I take the inquisitive trait. This is because it makes them happier when learning, and the goal for this stage is to learn everything. I am certain there are people out there who have no idea about this. Toddlers get one of the most powerful reward traits in the game. You must max all skills except potty training to level 5. If you do, you'll receive the top notch toddler reward trait. This gives a sim a 20% skill gain boost for all skills and uniquely a 20% more career performance boost. On normal lifespan, it's actually quite challenging to get if you do not plan for it, so you need to begin working toward it right away. There is a lesser version of this trait for getting everything to level 3 instead of 5, so go for that if you're not going to make it to 5. I suppose you should sort of level them equally to ensure you make at least one happen. With long lifespan, it's significantly easier, so change it to that if you don't really want the challenge. Now some tips for doing this. I honestly struggled a bit, primarily due to having autonomy set to full. The toddler and mother's actions fought against each other when it came time to do things like enter and exit the high chair. At one point, little Super was almost taken away due to starving because of this. It is a little buggy at this time because both can be involved in making the interaction happen, so I recommend setting autonomy to none and micromanaging them. Another thing to bear in mind is, while there are some decent rewards for Sims 4 Parenthood's character values system, you get to work on that all the way through the teen years, so your focus should be entirely on toddler skills if you want this perk. Next I would say, I hope you have a good savings or a passive income. The toddler can spend some time learning on their own, but it's easier to have the parent play dollhouse with them or teach them to do blocks. You cover three of the four toddler skills with the dollhouse and blocks via this tutoring. There is also a tablet with toddler games specifically for toddlers that you can buy to let the kid work on skills that way. Potty training is not one of the four skills that you need to max, but it does help save you some time when they can go to the bathroom on their own, so do potty train them. One last thing, mood management. Do try to make them at least happy when you're teaching them together so that you get a boost. One problem I had was little super was always angry because I hadn't played a toddler in a while. This naturally lowers their skill gains. When you are done with the toddler stage, it's time to move on to much more independent childhood stage, however with a much longer checklist as well. If you reach level 5 in all four skills, you'll receive your bonus trait. While Toddler hits you with a short time frame to do the four skills, actually picking up all the bonuses from childhood requires you to complete 30 to 40 aspiration goals. There are four childhood aspirations that each give a 20% boost to creative, mental, physical, or social skills. I'd say physical is the least important here. If you do not care about having all the bonuses and want to skip a true super sim, then just focus on those you do want, such as mental and most likely creative. Something you'll have to decide for yourself if you have seasons is whether you focus on scouting while in childhood or put it off until the kid turns teen. 
Scouting has yet another big reward trait that boosts all skill gains. You will ultimately get one for each category via childhood aspirations, then one that boosts all skills through scouting. If you can knock out scouting, it'll combine nicely with the top-notch toddler trait. Note that you do have to complete every badge to get the Master Scout reward trait, but many badges will be completed while simply working on your aspirations. You can substantially speed up the process of skilling by using Get Together's Clubs functionality. You can put the parent and child into a club, set the club's meeting activities to things you will be doing regularly, then you can initiate a meeting from home. A permanent meeting. Sick. You'll accrue points regularly and can take club perks that boost skill gains for childhood skills. This helps ton with the aspirations since they all require you to hit level 10 in the related skill. With clubs, ideal mood, and the toddler trait, you can be pushing plus 60% boost to skill gains. More like 80 when you get scouting as well. All this and I haven't even touched on character values. There's a reason for that. The random events that help you gain XP in different categories did not fire for me for whatever reason. They seemed stuck even when I turned autonomy back on. Not sure what's up with that. But there too are more bonuses, though not directly tied to skill gains, just unique interactions and such. As you gain, these bonuses will begin to seriously stack up and everything gets easier as time wears on. You have 13 days to complete the four aspirations on normal lifespan, but over 50 on long. When you've got the last scouting badge and aspiration complete, you can go on to the super sim teenage years. Adult skills will have opened to you in childhood, but now you can do adult aspirations and get the great bonuses that come with them. Something I did while doing childhood was have my Sims mother do the best-selling author aspirations so she can make a book of life. With it all said and done, I called it quits as I know I've listed out the missable bonuses. Everyone knows to use the reward store and that it's a powerful boost to not have to sleep. But with skills so heavily tied to aspirations, the satisfaction points will come in very swiftly because you can better knock out the level and quality type requirements. I had my sim move out to bring her into a household with a default sim. I wanted to race them. Oh. With all the bonuses, she defeats her opponent soundly. She has 20% for toddler, 25% for scouting, 20% for mental skills. She should be gaining skill XP at least 65% faster than normal, and it very much looks like that's the case. I did actually upload this sim to the gallery with the hashtag Carl's Guide uh, in case someone wants to download her and skip all the work. Also, you could use the traits.equip trait to cheat this in if you wanted. I guess that's it for making a super sim. Doing this gives some seriously huge bonuses and other things like morning person or night owl along with emotional bonuses will amp it even further. I hope you found this info useful and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you for watching.